Hey everyone, happy Friday, July 23rd, uh, ending the week on a nice note, plus $2,445 on the day, which puts me at, uh, let's see, that's the best day I had. I had a pretty similar day about a month ago, had a $2,000 day a couple weeks ago on a Friday, but uh, actually it looks like Monday, June 14th. So this is the best day I've had since Monday, June 14th. So nice way to end the week. Uh, so let's, uh, well, might as well go over the week and then I'll get to today's trades. So for the week, uh, Tuesday was a winner plus 665, Wednesday minus 1635, yesterday scratch plus 30, and then today 2445. So total P&L for the week, uh, plus 1505. Um, and that was pretty much uh, mostly runners. Um, had uh, uh, a, a little over eighteen hundred dollars in runners. Didn't have any pairs trades all week, and then just one mighty ninety, which is interesting. Um, only three hundred, uh, and that was minus three twenty four. So that puts us uh, total since the beginning of the year for the mighty nineties eleven six uh, pairs trades a little over forty three hundred runners a little over thirty four hundred total uh, almost fifty almost fifty thousand. Uh, for total day trades year to date and then total going all the way back to the end of August mighty 90s a little over 18 pairs trades almost 5k runners over 62k total uh, 85,000 so uh, that's the uh, that's the week uh, let's take a look at the individual trades all runners today no mighty 90s no pairs trades uh, so all runners four winners three losers AMC was a loser for minus 402 DKNG minus 98, uh, Disney plus 466, nice winner in Amazon, 1930. Facebook plus 670, Roblox was a loser for minus 800, and then the NASDAQ MNQ, uh, no, that's not right, it's 579. Must have accidentally hit six. Okay, there we go. So actually, 2345 uh, was the total. Let me go back and fix these. 2345. So not so my le so best day since about a month ago. Uh still pretty good. Um so that means the total for the week 1405. Um yeah, so okay. So that's right. All right. So the uh those are the trades. Let's go over these trades. I'll show you what we did here. Starting with AMC. So AMC is not one that I trade a lot, um, but it's set up, looked like a, a nice trade setup, had this initial flush and then the market bounced. I got short about right here uh, based on the based on the volume and looking for it to roll over. Now, it literally squeezed me out. It did exactly what I wanted it to. Unfortunately, it just it just kept pushing, pushing, pushing. Looked like it was going to be, you know, breaking out into new highs. And so I literally got out about right here and it rolled over and would have given me a winner, but ended up taking a loss on that one. Uh, DKNG was my other loser. Um, and DKNG actually was had a nice, nice, uh, nice profit in there as well. Then it pulled back here. I was, I was long, got long, I think, in this area here, caught this nice win, pulled back added to it looking for another bounce and then this thing just pushed pushed down and so I ended up having to uh, when it broke through into negative territory I just cut out and took a loss on that one so net net minus 98 dollars uh, Disney was a nice winner actually this was a couple different trades in Disney uh, the first one was on this volume spike here it pulled back got long caught this run up there for a nice winner and then, um, and then when it pulled back, so I was out of it. And then when it pulled back to unchanged right here, I got long again, kind of chopped around and then finally pushed up and I got out of my last piece right there. I, no, actually my last piece, I think I got out right here. So just about 20 minutes ago. So nice winner in Disney for plus 466. Uh, Amazon, my biggest winner. Now, part of this is because Amazon is just so big. So my position size naturally is bigger. Uh, but had this uh, nice push up, had this initial weakness, bounced all the way up through the highs, pulled back, uh, got long right here, caught that bounce, I was out, pulled back again, got back in, and caught that bounce right there. So 
uh, plus 1,930 on Amazon on that little bouncy, bouncy trade. Uh, Facebook plus 670. Facebook was a monster today. It's up uh, right now. It's up over 6%. And so on this, um, so on this initial push up here, when it pulled back, I got long right here and held. I think I got out of my last piece right here. Obviously, there's a lot more in the tank. Uh, of course, we don't know that. That's a little bit of hindsight trading, but I uh, still booked a nice winner in Facebook 670. And then my only other loser was Roblox. And this, I, I really liked this setup. I thought, I thought Roblox was really going to follow through. I had this really strong push off the bottom uh, when it pulled back here, got long looking for an extension, and just kind of kept dwindling. Uh, I added right here at Unchanged, thinking we might get a bounce there. And then it just started chopping around, and so I ended up cutting out uh, and taking a loss there. And then lastly, the NASDAQ, MNQ. I just did the micros. Um, and what I was looking at here is uh, after this initial weakness, NASDAQ pushed up, pulled back to yesterday's high. I got long right here and just held on, got out of about half, about right in this area, scaled out of some more here, and then I think I scaled out of my last piece around here. So. Nice trade in MNQ for plus 579. So plus 2,345 on the day. Uh, we will be offline on Monday, so we won't be streaming live on Monday. We'll be back live on Tuesday. Everybody have a great weekend and rest of your day. We'll talk to you then.